So I forgot an intro, but today we are playing at the Fairways Golf Course. I will be playing with Austin today, and I'll be giving you visuals and breakdowns and also help you improve your golf game. Hole number one is a dog leg right, and I got three different options I can go at it. So I could use the four iron off the tee right here, but I just had a really soft driver right up to the corner. I had about a 50 yard landing spot, about 280 to OB. Now I really wanted to drive number one, but there was people on the green of number three, and I did not feel comfortable hitting up and over their heads, and I did not need that thought as I'm getting ready to swing, so I went with a nice, easy, straight down the middle shot. Now these next two holes are pretty straightforward. As long as you can hit it straight, it'll treat you nice. Never leave a birdie putt short. <sighs> there you go. So a little left to right, but down the pipe. Good line. That was a great line. So this short part three has water hazard on the left and bunker on the right. It was only 103 yards to carry the water and I aimed for just about the middle of the green because I had about 30 yards behind and about 30 yards to the left if I missed. So this is a very easily to mentally take all the hazards out and have a nice swing. Oh, good strike. All right. So Austin right here asked if he needed to mark his ball. I said no, he was fine. And if I hit it, I'm just a terrible golfer. And as you can tell, I I almost hit it. It's uh, yeah. We're just not gonna talk about that. So right here, I back off my ball because I'm in my head. I'm thinking, wow, you just had a horrible, horrible butt. And I want to fix that. Make sure everything's lined up. I'm not going to start the day this early with a three putt, and I three putt it. Three putt? Oh, 
At least we both didn't three putt. That would have been embarrassing. So ideally I was looking to aim on the left hand side of the fairway over here, but if I hit it to the right hand side of the fairway, I would have been okay with that. Because I can hit a nice little fade into the green and not worry about the water hazard. And I came out and just smoked this drive. Felt amazing. So I set myself up absolutely perfect for the shot. I was aiming left edge, just going to smack it, roll it in. Water was not even in my mind whatsoever, even though it's the right side of the green. It was also only 186 yards to the hazard, so I was not even thinking about it. Mentally, I was in a good state of mind here. Then I hit this lovely gem right towards the hazard. I mean, this was just hunting the water hazard, but luckily I cleared it. This was definitely one of those shots you're like, what just happened? So the ball right here was sitting up very nice, I had a lot of green to work with. I mean, this is an ideal shot for what I just had, and I, yeah, I did that. Not a good thing. Not a good thing whatsoever. That was awesome. You can edit that out. I was so disappointed by that shot, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to leave the camera. That's what I'm going to do. What a par save, thank you. So anywhere but the left hand side is great on this hole, but unfortunately I smashed this to the moon. I hit this so high. <laughs> so unfortunately in this round I do not have all of Austin's golf shots, but I do have a majority of them. Now after hitting the shot I just hit, I was very lucky that my ball was sitting up very nicely here and I just whacked a four iron all the way to the green. Now unfortunately for Austin, he had to take a drop because we could not find his ball, and we think it might have went OB. Now I was super pumped that I hit the green on my second shot, got a green regulation, but I left myself about a 50 foot putt here, and I was, was not too happy about that. And that's another three putt. That is oh, that is not good. So this is a pretty straightforward par three. It was about 181 yards into the wind. Not too bad. It would be an easy six normally, but I've been having issues with my six iron. Last week I shanked it so bad it was completely off the screen. I tried to warm up the driving range, same thing, so I decided to go with a hard 7 instead of an easy 5 and hope for the best. Now I had really good contact on the swing and I actually ended up about pin high. Man, I like it. Uh, a little fat. I realized on this shot I probably should have stood right behind the pin on the back side of the green. It would have been a lot better shot here, but hey, I'm just starting roll to... Out. So even though I missed that birdie part, I was ecstatic to get this part because the previous week I shanked 2 OB. Just absolute nightmare. Granted, I haven't played in two years, but getting a 7 or 8 on a par 3 just ruined my round. So I was extremely happy to move forward and get a par. <laughs> so there is water on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this fairway, even though you can't tell that from the picture, but trust me, there's water. And I decided to go with a nice easy 4-iron here because even if I completely crushed it, I would have been safe. And just mentally, that puts your mind at so much ease when you know that you just took the water completely out of the perspective. Now this shot did fade away from me more than I would like, but that's alright because I planned on it with my little safe zone that I wanted to hit. I have it spotted. Oh. 
Now, unfortunately, Austin did hit it right again after that shank, and then he had this lovely shot for three right here on the green. Has a great chance for par. Made to the old hole. <laughs> right over it. So hole number nine, you got a sand trap on the right hand side at 240 and one about 270 and the water is about 329. With how I've been hit my driver, I decided to just hit my driver 80% and I want to give myself a nice wedge into the green. So I had about 73 yards to carry to clear the water hazard. I had about 11 yards if I was really feeling my wedge. And then I had 24 yards of safe space. And I decided to go with a little bit of safe area and not be too aggressive here. But it just felt really nice mentally knowing that I only had 73 yards. And even if I chunked the shot, I was going to be just fine. Now when I played safe, I played a little bit too safe. And I hit the very top of the green. It's all downhill putt. Oh look, another three putt. So I'm really pleased with this front nine. Greens are regulation, seven out of nine. Hole one, we missed the green by a foot. And then hole number five, I believe, we kind of chunked that uh, chip. And so, I mean, I could have went nine for nine. Fairways, four out of seven, super happy about that. But the putting, oh my goodness, 19 putts, average of 2.1. That is beyond embarrassing. And we had three three putts. Absolutely horrible. That is why I'm three over. It's just because of my putting. And I had one bad chunk. But besides that, it was a great round. And uh, let's just say the back nine gets, uh, it gets interesting. That's a good way of putting it. And I will have the back nine video up later on this week.